coming up on this episode of Sybil Adventures. We're taking the train from Kalamazoo to explore Chicago for the day. Along the way, we'll explore local cuisine, art, parks, and the wonderful sights and sounds of Chicago. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. We're going to Chicago, going to Chicago, we're going to Chicago, we're going to Chicago, let's go! Step one, get in a car and go to the train station. Step two, get on the train. We're on the train, 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 we're on the train. Our cafe car this morning is located toward alcohol. Personal food and drinks are not allowed in the cafe car. Leaving downtown Kalamazoo, the tracks take us past the prestigious Kalamazoo College and Western Michigan University, home to the Broncos. As of late, Western has been home to a number of projects, and through the tree line, one can see the removal of old seed slag dorms, and of course, the addition of a new student center and Arcadia Residency Hall. After exiting the Kalamazoo area, the train accelerates to approximately 110 miles per hour for the remainder of the trip in Michigan. The train does, however, significantly decrease in speed as it approaches northwest Indiana as it encounters significant industrial areas and freight traffic. This next part of the trip was slow going as we delved deep into the industrial wasteland of northwest Indiana. It was rather shocking to witness. From Burns Harbor to South Chicago, Indiana, including Gary, Indiana, the land was scarred with industry. The vast majority of it abandoned and decrepit. I was so taken aback I forgot to record much of it. But go look on Google Earth. It made me genuinely upset to see the land this misused and abandoned in an area I know to be beautiful without human involvement. Many state parks I grew up in and beaches in southwest Michigan are just so. This is a scar in humanity's record, and the land should be cleaned and given back to nature as far as I'm concerned. And yet on the horizon, one could see the Chicago skyline, one of the wealthiest skylines in the United States just a stone's throw away. Still, we had the south side of Chicago to go through, another area of obscene poverty and neglect. And all the while, the Willis Tower stood tall in the horizon, taller than everything else, looking down upon the entire city of Chicago, but also being seen by everyone. 
being seen by the south side of Chicago, being seen by Burns Harbor in Gary, Indiana. I can't imagine what it feels like to live up there, to actually reside above everything else in the area. It must feel immense, immensely powerful or immensely vulnerable. Either way, I can't imagine taking it for granted. I wanted to see what it was like. So I asked my dad if I could get tickets for the sky deck. He said yes. The first activity of the day had been decided just as we arrived at Union Station. We made it to Chicago. We're in the big city now. That's a really tall building. Education and Chicago hot dogs. I'm terrified. <laughs> Facing north. East. God, I love Lake Michigan. There's a basketball court on top of the roof. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so bright out. Yeah. We're kind of half in the half out the box. <laughs> the views from the top of Willis Tower were amazing. The city seemed to stand still. No traffic or noise, just the endless horizon of human structures and urban sprawl. Yet as I had thought, being so high up felt vulnerable. The shaking elevator, the slight tilt of the building, having nothing but glass beneath your feet. After only 20 minutes or so, it was time to go explore the parks, I had thought. So Hannah and I took the long elevator down, and began to walk Jackson Boulevard until it led us to the great parks of Chicago. It's a lovely day for a walk in the park.
Hannah. Running. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to like it down below and leave a comment with any questions, requests, or just to show your appreciation. As always, for this adventure and more like these, be sure to subscribe to Zidwell Adventures. Until next time, find your adventure.